Hello traders and welcome out to Currency 101 series module 2 basics. In this module we'll be actually talking about trading view and talking about the features that we need to get familiar with to customize the platform. So, so in this module we'll be talking about creating our watch list and organizing them. Uh, indicators uh, we'll search and add secondary indicators and customize it. Layouts so we'll be creating templates and in the toolbar options we'll be getting to know about the functionalities of different toolbars options available. All right, so let's get into trading view and then take a look at the platform and start to customize it based on our preferences. So it's important to know uh, what options are available so then you can play around with it and see how you can customize it to your own liking. So first thing first, talking about watch list. Watch list is important because as you spend more and more time and you look at more and more symbols, it's very easy to get those lists are quite long and quite messy so it's important to organize them and then as you can see in this right hand side of this uh, window we have organized it based on sections so first of all how do you create sections so you can right click on any symbol and let's say if there's no uh, other section added for it so right click on it and you can click add section so this one right away will create a section for you so you can say well let's call it forex right there so we have a we have a watch list of forex there. I mean in this case, again actually if you want to rename it, just double click there and it will it will create that white space for you. So now we have a forex list here. And let's say if we want to add certain things to the forex list. We can easily either bring the forex down. So right here. And as you can see, we have these are very easily uh, quickly be dragged and move around and in this case let's say I want to bring um, all these bond yields into forex all I have to do is you know click and drag so I, I click on this and drag it and to an under under that section here so this way you don't have to pretty much start from the from the top here you can have all the all the watch all the symbols added in there and then as soon as you create these sections you can pretty much uh, click and drag all of those things in it in order to create that and organize it based on based on those categories so in this case we started with the crypto and have the currency baskets in there and so on and so forth now watch list once we have organized watch list let's talk about the indicators and uh, to get the indicators you click on the FX sign and that's where you get indicators and strategies this is where you use the search bar to search any any um, second indicators that you use so for example if you're using parabolic SAR so you just type in right there and as soon as you click it you'll notice that on the back on the chart it quickly get added onto the screen so we have the parabolic SAR added in there and if you notice that once the parabolic SAR is added we can actually customize it or, or click on settings to change the values so different inputs that you're using for your for your uh, indicator you can pre pretty much quickly go on it and make adjustments and then click OK so this is where you can spend more and more time based on how many secondary indicators that you use all the moving averages you notice that there's a lot of them already added in there but this is where you go in and let's say you want to add exponential moving average you pretty much click on that it gets then added to your screen and over here I can go in either change the color for it change the uh, change the size and the way it looks and then in under the inputs I can go and say let's make it 20 day so I can quickly click on that and th right away I will have things added onto my chart so cool thing about this is that as you get more and more things added to it you don't have to remove it if you don't want to view it for that particular chart you can actually click on show and hide and that just hide it from your screen so you can see that I'm quickly uh, clicking hide for all three of these and they are actually gone from it so they're still available on my on the on the on the hand tip over here you can quickly click on it but if you don't want to see it you can just quickly hide it once you have uh, added all those indicators into your list either it's the even the second indicators the vol the the ATR you can actually follow the exact same process add the ATR to it and then that gets added to the bottom of the screen once everything is created and added you get the easiest way to manage these lists is by creating indicator templates so the layouts are important and it's important to have these templates added to it because that way 
if you need to switch it from one to the other, or let's just say if something doesn't get uh, added right, you can go back to your template. So in this case, let's just call it a template. And this way, now we have a template added. If I go back in the list, you'll notice that uh, a template is now already there. So notice that I've I added other other uh, templates based on what exactly I'm looking at on the chart. I have a clean chart where you know I, I just need to have uh, the indicators that I'm primarily using. But by a click of a button, as you can see, we don't have to go in every time, add things to your screen. You can just add these templates into your trading view. Same thing, I want to take a look at all the bond yields. With the click of a button, I can have a list, a chart that will show me all the bond yields. So this is a good way to do your technical analysis, but not spend too much time on on uh, on adding it and deleting it every time you want to take a look at different things on on your chart. And lastly, the tools options. And under the, under the tools option on the left hand side, you'll notice that there's a toolbar. Under that toolbar, this is where you will get to play around with and do your technical analysis. And based on what you're looking for, the best way to really learn is by just clicking on it and just playing around with it because that's where you can get familiar with it. So in this case, let's say if I want to measure a move, uh, a, a tool that I primarily use, I can just click on that rule bar and click and drag. And this is where it can tell me, okay, this move from here to there is about 11%. So it's a it's a very good feature to use to to measure to measure the movements. Uh, along with that, you can see there's these there's these uh, trend lines that you can draw by clicking on it. So we have the trend lines. You have the text if you want to add something to it and say I'm just testing this out. So this is a good way to mark your entry if you need to, or make some notes for yourself. Uh, and then uh, also we get to use. Um, let's just say uh, the, the Fibonacci retracements, so Fib retracements. This is another tool that we, we use quite often just to draw these areas. So that's another, another thing that's available right there. But like I said, there's so many options available. Not everybody use everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to get familiar with it so you know exactly what thing uh, who does. So if you're looking for something, you can just use it. But it's not, there's no right or wrong for this one. So it's all about uh, what things that you need for your technical analysis. So a quick review. Make sure you spend some time and get familiar with that platform. You can also create and categorize your watch list by sections. Create your custom templates. It makes your life a lot easier. And customize to your own preference. Everything could be customized to the way you like it.